What's up everyone, this is Cybernaut, and today we're going to be opening up the uh, Cards by Vanguard G Volume 9 uh, Divine Dragon Caper box for you guys. Yeah, this is the brand new box that has been released, and of course it kind of uh, continues the whole uh, Shadow Paladin support, and it looks really awesome too. I, I want to get the cover card on that, I forget his name, but I believe he's like the G unit that goes with the trial deck that's come out recently with the Shadow Paladins that we opened up yesterday, so yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get. Also here are the featured clans that are in this, you can get Shadow Paladins, Angel Feather, Narakami, Spike Brothers, uh, Gear Chronicle, Aqua Force, and Cray Elementals. So, yeah, let's see what we get from this. Also, you're getting 30 packs out of these boxes, too. So, And, of course, got this from Big Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. Link in the description. They have an awesome store which has all kinds of different card games. Obviously, a card Vanguard, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! So, uh, be sure to check them out. Link in the description. Pretty much everything open up on this channel I get from them, so... There we are. And I guess we'll just start with this pack. It was kind of in the middle. <laughs> there we go. So starting off, it looks like, yeah, we already have a double rare, and that is uh, a Black Devote uh, Flag. I guess how you say her name? And that is Angel Feather. Start off with a double rare, that's awesome. Can't complain on that. Hoping to get some Shadow Paladins from this. Looks like we have a rare for this one, and that is a Lethal Ford. Let me kind of make it easier to get our packs out of this. And another rare, and that is a Revenger Slay Hex Dragon. That's a Shadow Paladin. Quite a few Shadow Paladins in the set, too. Looks like, yep, another rare, and that is uh, Roaring Thunder Spear uh, Jalil. I believe I said that name correctly. We'll see. Some of these names are a little tough to pronounce on that. You guys know how it is. <laughs> We have a rare, which is uh, Excellent Celestial uh, You'll Fail, and that is an Angel Feather. That card looks awesome. And a, uh, another rare, and that is uh, Dudley uh, Jetter. Spike Brothers. We'll see some Spike Brother cards. Okay, there we go. The card kind of stuck together. We have another one, which is Pulsar Stratos Falcon. Gear Chronicle. See, even card fight gets Stratos. <laughs> Still waiting on our Stratos here in, in Yu-Gi-Oh! land. <laughs> yep, that's what it's called now, Yu-Gi-Oh! land. Uh, we have uh, Black Mirage uh, Hagit, I guess, and that is a rare. like, yep, another rare, and that is Polestar Eradicator Zuitin, I guess? It's one or the other. And then we have all of this looks awesome. It is a triple rare Shadow Paladin, and it is True Revenger Raging uh, Rep Dragon. So there we go, that looks awesome! <laughs> there, we got a G-Unit card for uh, Shadow Paladins. Like I said, that's what I'm mainly after from this, which I think a lot of people are probably that way too from this set. Uh, so that is a good triple rare to get. So we can also get like the Sorcerer card as well. I'd love to get both of them. Now that's an awesome card to get. And then after that we have a double rare for Angel Feathers, and that is Holy Celestial uh, NFL. There we go, another G unit as well, so kind of back to back on that. I see that. I mean, we were going through and getting a bunch of rares there for a little bit. And we have Dudley uh, Turbo Repeller. Let's 
Still plenty of packs left, so let's see. We have Pulsar Fluorescent Dragon. It's a Gear Chronicle. The rares always stick to the, the common card in front of them. <laughs> Let's see, Revenger uh, Detonate Heat Dragon. What's that for? That is a Shadow Paladin, okay. <laughs> that card's awesome. And then we have a G Guardian, which is a double rare for Narukami, and that is uh, Sky Guardian Supreme Dragon Bulwark Dragon. There we go. That's awesome looking. Oh, there's one pack right here, if I can just get it. There we go. Let's see what we end the right side with. And it looks like, yep, it is another rare, and that is uh, uh, a Centic Draco Kid. Narakami. Now we have the left side of the box. Which is a Sentinel card for Aqua Force, rare, and that is uh, Klepai uh, Rider Valis. That's pretty cool. Got a elemental. Starting off the pack with. And then we also have a rare which is Mage of uh, Enticement uh, Adona. At least we're getting our Shadow Paladins, that's for sure. Hopefully our triple rares are also going to be more Shadow Paladins. And we have a G-Unit card in that. That is a Storm uh, Dominator Commander Thavis. I think that's actually really good to get, so there we go. <laughs> that's awesome. I'm actually going to set that to the side. This one is where it's like a, I believe like a reprint, basically. I don't know, it's like a special thing that they do. I've gotten one of those before, where they're like that. Let's see, we have Training Monk Dragon, Narakami Rare. And then we have another uh, triple rare, and that is for Shadow Paladins again, and that is Drag Wizard uh, Morfessa, I believe is how you say the name of her, and uh, that looks awesome. Like I said, another uh, Shadow Paladin triple rare. I've been hoping to get a bunch of them, so that's another one for the collection of Shadow Paladins that we're getting. I think our third one will also be another Shadow Paladin. Like I said, I want the one that's on the cover. He looks awesome. Have a Sentinel card for Spike Brothers as Dudley Cheers uh, Linda. And then we have a, a Shadow Paladin G Guardian, and that is a Dark Dragon Plotmaker Dragon. Now that looks epic. <laughs> that artwork is just amazing looking. Of course, it is a double rare because it's G Guardian. That's one of the coolest looking dragon cards I think I've seen in a while. And then a rare, and that is uh, Abyssal Owl. I don't think what else we're missing. I guess we're missing like a triple rare or something. So let's see. And we have uh, an Aqua Force this time for a triple rare, and that is a uh, Blue Storm, a uh, Hillic Dragon, a uh, Disaster Maelstrom. So that's a really cool triple rare to get. I like that, especially the artwork and everything. That looks amazing. So there we go. We got a, a G unit for Aqua Force. Not bad. Then after that, we have uh, Kelpie Rider. Uh, Nikitas. Oh, okay, there. We have a rare which is Absorb Celestial uh, 
Balharia? Baharia, I believe is how you say that. Angel Feather. Then we have a few packs left. What is it? Three packs left. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and get them out of the box just because it's a little easier to pick them up this way. Hope we might get a Generation Rare. That'd be awesome if so. And it looks like we have another rare, and that is Eradicator Dragon Death Scythe, Narakami. And we have a double rare for Shadow Paladins, and that is the Sentinel card too. Uh, Drag Saver uh, uh, Esros. Esros, I guess I say that? That's awesome looking. And then, last pack. What can we end with? Let's see. End with a Generation Rare. That could be possible, actually. And it looks like we are ending with a Rare for Aqua Force, and that is uh, Blue Wave Marine General uh, Ison. So, yep, yeah, there we go. That is the uh, unboxing. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Here's kind of a recap of everything, too. I think we did very well with our box. I mean, we got a lot of Shadow Paladins. I'm happy with that. Two of our uh, Triple Warriors were Shadow Paladins, and they look amazing. So, yeah, definitely happy about that. And also, the Shadow Paladins from this set just look amazing, too. So, I'm happy I got a bunch of those. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, as well as leave a comment. Tell me the openings you guys want to see in the future. And uh, be sure to subscribe for more Card Fit Vanguard openings. Why Schwartz, uh, Future Card Buddy Fight. Uh, Force of Will and Luck and Logic. Of course, anything new that comes out for those card games I do openings on. And I've heard that there's a lot of stuff coming out for all those very soon. So, looking forward to that. And it sounds like January is actually going to be very busy. So, can't wait to see all the new stuff that's coming out for that. But, again, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. See you.